where the proper standards on competition are. Those are if you're going to move forward to strip him of his committee assignments, if you're going to move forward with the censure resolution. Well, no decision has been made uh, with respect to how to hold Representative Gosar accountable, but it's clear he needs to be held accountable for his disgusting, outrageous, violent threat perpetrated against one of our colleagues uh, here, Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, as well as the President uh, of the United States of America. But this underscores an incredibly important point right now. House Democrats are delivering for the people in meaningful ways related to lowering costs, cutting taxes, and creating millions of good-paying jobs. The House Republican Conference is all about chaos, crisis, confusion, corruption, and controversy. They are trying to sanction members and strip them of committees not because of outrageous violent threats, but because they supported a handful of them, as in Ranking Member Katko, a bipartisan infrastructure agreement that will make a positive difference in the lives of everyday Americans. This is what the House Republican Conference under Kevin McCarthy's leadership is all about right now. They're out of control. They care nothing about the well-being of everyday Americans, the middle class, and those who aspire to be part of it. Nothing. It's all about the acquisition of power. Do you think a congressman should be stripped of his committee assignments? And I'm not going to get out ahead of the caucus's decision in that regard, other than to say he needs to be held accountable, and he will be held accountable. Perhaps Kevin McCarthy should take steps to hold Gosar accountable as opposed to fending off criticisms within his own conference as it relates to sanctioning the 13 Republicans who supported fixing our crumbling infrastructure. That's outrageous.